Hello. Hi. I'm Pankaj Roy Gupta. I'll be teaching you this course Excel and SPSS in the trimester one. You already had an orientation course on Excel, which has given you a fair idea about the various operational issues and data related activities using the Excel as a platform. We will be learning this particular course, which is a two credit course in this trimester one. Let's try to understand what are the course overview and course objective. Excel is basically known as an office productivity tool. It helps the employees to use Excel as a platform to do quick computational activities and extract some sort of inferences, some sort of outcomes from the business data. It is a very powerful tool and being a management graduate, all of you should have a fair understanding and a stronghold on Excel use. Let's try to understand what are the this course objectives. The course objectives are how to create, manage and launch Excel data. Develop your ability to optimize your worksheet using templates, graphs and formulas. Design Excel with color and images to improve the readability and get messages across to the audience more effectively. That means how to use the colors and how you can use the color in the different areas of the Excel data and the related graphs, images which you can represent and communicate effectively to your audience. Develop Excel functions and formulas to save time and increases productivity. If you use functions, if you use formulas, it can use a multiple set of data in the Excel worksheets and can compute and give you the results at a faster speed. Discover the tricks and produce professional charts and graphs. We will see how to plot charts and graphs and how the different business functions data can be represented using these graphs and charts. Analyze the large data in SPSS. Along with Excel, we will be learning another tool which is called SPSS. Okay. So let's quickly see this particular course is having few modules. The first module is to understand what is Excel. And there are two sessions and these are the module content. We will see that how to use basic formulas. How do you use reference of a cell? How do you edit data from the cell and various other easy tools by which you can do various type of computational activities in the Excel worksheet. The second module that how do you use the formula? So you will be, you have already I think have learned the logic functions, text function, like you know, the left, right, mid, find, search, understanding the date functions, understanding time, and also using some basic statistical function like you know, count, average, max, mean, median, mode, etc. This particular module will be covered in four sessions. Module three, you have intermediate formula knowledge where you will be learning. We will be learning VLOOKUP, mostly very important, uh, you know, the formula by which you can use different type of data and extract intelligence in the module 4 how do you use 
the data in an effective way that is called optimizing the data and this particular module will have three sessions module 5 that how do you use excel to represent the data in different graphs you know by formatting the data using different type of advanced functions giving an outline of your report etc so this will have three sessions after that in the module 6 we will learn spss in this particular tool we will be spending five sessions module 7 basic analysis using spss where you will be learning descriptive statistics you know in the descriptive statistics we will be using the standard deviation frequency table cross tabulations correlation regression and also you will be using learning this interpreting and presenting the results so if you see this this particular course is a two credit course 20 sessions but most of the sessions will be delivered by using hands-on practices using excel and spss now let me quickly tell you this is a there will be two assignment in each of five marks so this will cover you know the serial number two three four five six of the course objectives and here these are the module will be addressed for getting this 10 marks this is internal assessment test there will be an online excel test which will carry 15 marks and there will be a project that will be given to you based upon certain business data and you need to come out you need to do some analysis of using the data and come out with certain outcomes certain you know reports that will carry 15 marks and this will cover module number two three four and five you will be getting this particular syllabus so there are a lot of reference material which you can use refer to make your understanding about excel and spss strong okay so today i'll give you an overview on the module one the module one is to start with to know excel and this module will be we will be covering in two sessions in this module we will try to understand that what is this excel environment what is the work surface, navigation, spreadsheet? How do you create the file, formatting? You know, the work area of the Excel worksheet. We will try to understand the basic mathematics and some formulas. Cell referencing, understanding a little bit about the functions, etc., etc. So, this will be covered in two sessions under module 1 now let's try this particular environment what is an excel excel is a commercial spreadsheet application written and distributed by microsoft for microsoft windows and mac os microsoft windows is an operating system developed by microsoft and this particular product excel is developed by microsoft which is used either in windows operating system or mac os operating system what is a spreadsheet the spreadsheet is basically the electronic register of an accountant where the data is captured in the form of rows and columns it is an electronic form Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet tool capacity to perform calculation. It helps in analyzing the data, integrating the information from the different programs. By default, document saving after Excel 2010. The Excel version came after 2010 are saved with an extension called dot xlsx. Microsoft is a software product company and every year or maybe every two years they upgrade their product so the excel version after 2010 if you are using you will see when you save the excel worksheet you will get an extension called dot 
Excel SX. But if you are using the earlier version, then the file will be in the dot .xls. Microsoft gives you an advantage that from the older version, you can easily migrate to the newer version. So the data saved in the earlier version can easily be ported into the Excel versions of 2010 and beyond. Okay. So what is a work surface in a Excel? Very simple, very basic. So if you open Excel, we will be seeing this by using Excel software. But here, this particular video will give you an idea that what all we are going to learn in module one of this particular course. Now you see this, this is an Excel, all of you know this. So this is the call status bar. This is the worksheet area where you can enter data or you can use data for doing various type of number crunching activities. So you see this, this is the, and on the bottom you will see the seat one, seat two, seat three. These are called worksheet. You can create multiple worksheet using one Excel file. And you see this, this is called the file tab. This is the area which is called quick access toolbar, title bar. And then you will see this is the ribbon. This particular is the ribbon. Here you have help. Other than this, you will see that there are a lot of, you know, like formulas, data, review, view. We will see that how each of these words are activated for doing various type of activities within the Excel framework. This is called view buttons and zoom contracts. That means if you are in, trying to increase the screen, you, if you can scroll this side, left side, the screen size will come down. And if you are taking this side, the screen will become larger screen. So this is the area, this is called work surface. So this is the area where you need to use create data and use the data for doing various activities, various you know, uh, functions, formulas, and various other advanced features which are provided by Excel. You have to do it here. So this is called, this is very important to understand that what is this work surface where you will be working with the data using the Excel platform. Now, the advantage is, this is a small area and you can go top, you can go bottom, you can go left side, you can go right side and that is possible with the help of your navigation. So there are certain keystroke you will see, right arrow, left arrow, up, bottom, page up. So if you use this, what will happen? It will take you to the different points of your work area in the Excel file. We will see this, we will practice this, and once you start using this function keys, what will happen? Your speed of work with the help of Excel worksheet will increase. So you this navigation, so this is your worksheet. So if you are using this side, this is called horizontal bar. This is the scroll bar. This is scroll up, scroll down, and this is the vertical bar. Now this is your work area. So if you have to scroll and see the data, which is there in the hundredth rows, you see here, 28, 20, 35, below this, you have 36, 37, 40, 100, 200, 500. By using this, you can play in the area of the work on using this navigation functions. When you create the first file, so what is the file? So you open the Excel and then enter some data 
where you will enter the data the first come here so this is the column a1 and this is the row this particular area is called excel cell and here you need to enter the data and after you enter the data this is the worksheet area where you can enter the other data and then you need to save the file when you save the file it will save the file by giving your file name which are extension called dot xls if it is an excel version below 2010 then accordingly the extension if it is above 2010 the extension will come automatically excel provides lot of functions by which you can format so we will see that how do you use this format like you know this is the setting font size you can do the font size you can select different fonts and there are a lot of other functions by which you can create the worksheet readable by the other people and also by the person who is doing this so there are a lot of functions are available a lot of active buttons are available by which you can change the color and you can do a lot of formatting of your data on the excel worksheet we will learn all those formatting techniques then in this particular module we'll also learn the basic mathematics you have already seen this i believe in your orientation classes on excel that how to use this excel uh, basic math functions by which you can do addition subtraction multiplication division so there are very simple ways by which you can do all these activities on your data available on your excel worksheet so there are a lot of basic formulas how do you use the basic formula we will see this by applying this concept applying this technique on the excel worksheet and we will learn how to use this cell referencing you know when you do some particular you know computation by using some formula this is the cell referencing that we do and based upon the cell referencing and the range of the excel data we create and we get the value based upon the function or the formula that is really used here so this is called relative reference and here it is called absolute reference where we use the dollar sign so we will see that how actually this relative reference and absolute references are used for doing the cell referencing again we will see some advanced functions formula with mixed reference you have sum plus relative reference plus absolute reference so this is called formula with mixed reference and where and how we should use it for computing certain data and taking out the values out of that so we will also see the basic functions how these basic functions are used with no argument with one argument upper lower a fixed number of argument like if max mean average infinite number of arguments and optional arguments so based upon this uh, you know uh, function we can use this and can generate you know the values out of that data by using these functions there are a lot of math functions which are already provided into the excel we will see that how these functions are used like sum product power squared quotient mode aggregate subtotal etc and these are very powerful functions sum functions which will help us in computing the data and giving you the results so this all we are going to discuss in module 1 and this module 1 topics will be discuss and we'll be doing hands on practice using excel to achieve this objective of module 1 again let me quickly review what we discuss so anybody have any questions so we will take up this question when we'll actually 
start our excel sessions from the coming week anybody have any questions no so that's all from my side for the module one orientation and we will be actually when we will start the session one and session two we will see that how this functions math functions you know the other related functions are used for doing computational activities using excel worksheet thank you very much